It's been five days since the governor lifted the statewide mandate, and while many took off their masks immediately, others are choosing to keep them on. News 13's George Gonzalez spoke with shoppers today to get their thoughts. He's live at Eubank and Southern. George. Yeah, it came after the governor's surprise announcement last week that she is lifting the mask mandate. Some people I spoke with today say the pandemic isn't over and they will continue to take precautions and keep wearing their masks. It's a, it's a comfort thing and it's a just in case thing. And at my age, you know, I don't want to take any chances. We, we don't know who's vaxxed. We don't know who's not vaxxed. Um, it seems that this new version is really um, contagious. Now, despite the mandate being lifted, businesses I spoke with today, including Home Depot, Costco, Starbucks, and Albertsons, all say the mask requirement is still in place for their employees. They say while it's not a requirement for guests, masks are still encouraged. After more than two years of masking, some people say they're still a little hesitant to go out in public without one. Now, one woman told us she still carries hers around and assesses her surroundings to determine whether she's comfortable enough to go mask-free. Walking through, I had my mask on and walking around, it was like half the people had it on, half the people didn't. And I went, forget this, time to take it off and be free. And I feel like I'm normal again. The world has gotten back to the way it should be. Now, many people say they do feel more comfortable with employees wearing masks, but they say they should be given the option to go with or without them. Now, the people I spoke with today who are still wearing masks say they will continue to do so for at least another week. And if case counts remain low, then they will consider ditching the mask altogether. Back to you. OK, thanks, George. Now, face coverings are still mandated in high risk settings such as nursing homes and healthcare facilities and hospitals.